Yeah. I wear a Birkin to the gym, get over it. Big bag energy. You know when you look like shit, you put a little bit of this lip balm and you don't look like shit anymore? Very good, highly recommend it. So yes, I know it's been a while and we're back here again. I mean, I'm back again. You were probably there all along, but I'm back and today I'm doing this video that is a request video. One of you has asked me to do what's in my bag. So without further ado, let's get into the business because I have 20 minutes to shoot this video before I go get my kids from school. So I was kind of feeling like a big bag energy and I figured, you know what? Let's do the B35. Yeah, she's a big one. Big bag energy. So I don't even know how I'm gonna film this because you're either gonna see me or the bag. It's one or the other. I think it's more important for you to see my beautiful face than my beautiful bag. Wait, nobody cares about my face. People care about my handbags more. Well, look, we're just gonna have to deal with this. So anyways, this B35 is one of my like latest additions to my possession of handbags. I refuse to call them collection because I don't collect my handbags. I possess them, I wear them, I use them because they're handbags and they're made to be worn and used, not collected. No, I'm not a museum kind of person. Anyways, yes, yeah, so she's a big one. She's 35 and to be honest with you, I was like so, like so, 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 so obsessed with this handbag. Like, you know, the very first time I tried it, it was actually my first time trying 35 on and I was like, girl, big bags are back and you need it. You need her in black, gold hardware, just, you know, the classic, can't go wrong with that. So this is kind of like the kind of handbag that I use for my daily kind of run and errands. I use it when I go to the gym. Yeah, I wear a Birkin to the gym, get over it, right? I wear it when I'm traveling. Oh, it's, oh my God, it's such a great travel bag. Like I'm telling you, I am able to fit like three or four three handbags into this handbag. So you know when you're traveling and you're going on the airplane and you need to have like all your handbags with you in the cabin. So I am able to do like basically like, you know those like Russian matryoshka, babushkas or whatever they're called. And like it's like a small one that goes into a bigger one that goes into a bigger one. This is what I do with this handbag, it's brilliant. I 100% recommend it for travel. Anyways, so what's in my handbag? This is like 100% true real i haven't really prepared for it today i was like i'm gonna shoot some videos and i was like you know what this is an easy one to do and i have 20 minutes to do it so let's do it so okay we gonna start from the biggest the very first thing that's in my handbag is an item that i need to drop to ups because i sold something on vesture collective by the way you my vesture collective is always linked down in the video so you can go and click on my profile and you can see all the items designer items that i'm selling on vesture collective so anyways this has to be dropped when i'm going to get the kids from school i'll drive to ups dropping hey bye thanks so vesture collective is great for selling your stuff like it's amazing look like, really good so yeah one thing now the second thing and this is kind of like a goodie bag so basically it's a plastic bag that I got like I got like one of the crop tops that kind of came in this plastic Celine bag the absolute state of it and uh, what do I have in here so I have like you know I have to move it guys I'm sorry but yeah we're just gonna have to framing is all wrong so this is basically a bag of goodies and what I usually do is like I would just take it from one handbag and put it to another handbag when I'm changing my handbags but it's basically like full of kind of shite but things that I kind of need. So we have a car key in here, we have a, a chopstick, by the way this is really good because it's like black cherry tinted lip balm which is great because you know when you look like shit you put a little bit of this lip balm and you don't look like shit anymore. Very good, highly recommend it. Now, I used to have a problem with my eyes, my eyelids, no, my eyeballs were like really dry, so I used to use these eye drops. I don't really use it anymore, probably. Anyways, it's here. Then I have this thing. I don't know what this thing is called, but it's from Revlon, and it's like a volcanic, volcanic, volcanic stone. And you know when you get like really sweaty and greasy in your T-zone, you just do this and you just, don't look very sweaty and greasy anymore. It's actually really good, like super cool. 
Um, I only started using it recently, but so far so good. Now I have, oh, this is like one of my favorite lipsticks because I have this thing that my complexion is very warm. It's very difficult for me to find the right shade of lipstick, lip liner. So this is an Hermes lipstick that's warm. It's like a nude, but warm. It's called Beige Tadelac. So yeah, very, 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 very good. I have, oh yeah, I always have, you know when you buy something somewhere and they always give me like those little, oh, there you go, there's a 17 of those little perfume dry thingy things. Wow. So I always kind of keep them on me and you know, whenever, like I never, I would never ever, ever, I refuse and I would never ever carry actual perfume bottle. In fact, I'm actually really, really bad with perfumes. Like I like the idea of wearing perfumes and stuff, but it's just, I just lack in the habit of doing it actually. So anyways, these things are really handy. Uh, then I have like, oh yeah, this is the most favorite lip liner ever. My most favorite lip liner, which is Baldly Bear. Oh my God, I love it. Wear it for years. It suits my complexion so, so well. It's amazing. Uh, what else do I Oh yeah, I have like some cards from people working in Louis Vuitton. I have a pen that I've never used in my life because ain't nobody is writing things anymore on actual paper. And what is that? Oh yeah, this, this is like a little car key cover thing that I don't use, but it's just there. So yeah, this is the first thing that's kind of in my bag. It's really handy as well because like I said, when you change, it's, like it's a bunch of shite in here. So when you actually want to change your handbag, you just lift it and put it into a different handbag and you know everybody's happy because you don't have to do 17 things. Very handy. Next thing that's in my handbag, we are in like a summer season and I have my sunglasses. These are my latest purchase in regards to sunglasses and these are the uh, Celine, whatever they called, sunglasses. They come in this little pouch thingy that you can wear as a crossbody bag. Next thing that's in my handbag and is absolutely necessarily for me to possess that it is one of those, you know, like a shopping bags. Um, so in Poland, everywhere you go, you kind of have to like buy a shopping bag if you didn't bring one with you. And I refuse to purchase plastic bags all the time. So I usually have this on me. So this obviously opens to like a full kind of shopping bag. I'm not gonna do that on the camera because I'm pretty sure you have seen a shopping bag before in your life. Yeah. So the next item that's in my handbag is one of like a holy grail things that everybody's like, how did you get this? And I'm like, look, I just walked into a boutique once and I started to talk to a person about box letter and they happen to have it in box letter. It's very unusual. This is, wait, yeah, it's called Bastia card holder, Calvi card. It's one or the other. I, sh I showed you the other one earlier on. Where is it? Oh yeah, it's in this thing. And one is called Bastia and the other one is called Calvi. Bastia change purse, Calvi card holder. Calvi card holder. So yeah, and you basically have like two slots and um, you have all your cards and your IDs and whatever you might need. And what makes this item quite unusual and makes me very happy to possess it is the fact that it's made in box letter and I absolutely love it. Box letter is my favorite letter, so yeah. I always have it with me. Although I don't actually use cards anymore, to be honest with you, I pay for everything with my phone, but next thing that's in my handbag is, this is one of the eldest designer items that I actually possess. And I bought it I bought it many, many years ago and I bought it in Rome. And this is basically like a key that I think my address is on my keys. I know it's stupid, but like, oh, I'll, I'll probably change that at some point, but it's just, uh, yeah. So I keep my house keys in, key in here and it's actually pretty good. It can have like a couple of sets of keys and it kind of has like slits in here and in here so sometimes 
I would keep like my emergency cash stash uh, cash stash is like 100 lovely which is about 25 euros um yeah but sometimes i would like put some money in here um if i want to be like if i don't want to bring bring other things with me i just need my keys and and cash this item is really cool you can see it's like super worn it's like pretty much destroyed but it still works it's really cool because you know when you're wearing all these like expensive designer handbags you don't really want your keys to scratch uh the inside of your handbag record and ta -da -da -da. so this little i was meant to say device but i guess it's not a device this little accessory uh helps you to prevent that very clever very very clever oh and by the way i don't do like bag inserts or anything because i don't because i don't do a museum as well so yeah just no bag inserts for me but i do take small precautions like this for example not to maybe wreck my bag unnecessarily yeah let's just leave it at that and this is actually the last thing in my handbag like i don't really carry that like this is this is a lot like this is a lot i don't usually carry that much with me most of the time it's just actually really this this uh it would be a car key it would be this and that's that's all that's all that kind of goes into my handbag really to be completely honest with you but when i wear a bigger handbag i can afford the luxury of bringing more items so the last thing that's in my handbag is actually the latest addition to my possession of handbags of the Hermes and this is a little, what is this thing called guys? I know it's called to go, Constance to go wallet and I haven't even removed the stickers yet. Yeah, so I just really like the idea of like, so you know when you run an errands and you're just like, oh my God, you're packed really tight and you don't want to carry this big thing with you. So I like the idea of having this small alternative that I just grab and go and run and come back to my car in three minutes, you know? There's just one problem. Uh, I basically never really bothered to transfer anything of my belongings into it. So essentially this thing is empty, but in my head, okay? In my head, I have this idea of doing like, putting this, okay, in here, putting my car key in here, yeah and uh yeah running very fast to whatever i'm about to do so that's i don't think i ever actually transfer anything because you see then like i kind of think i like the idea of having a wallet so i can store all like my receipts my receipts in my handbag are always a mess but at the same time i use small handbags as well to which this thing itself wouldn't fit so I wouldn't spend time to transfer all my cards, my IDs into those tiny little slots just, just so I can redo it the next day when I want to use smaller handbags. So I think this is basically like, yeah, it's just the idea that I have in my head. I carry this with me when I can, but I've never used it. In the way that I just explained you, that's in my head that I'm thinking that it's a great way to use it. Hmm. So anyways guys, this is it. This is all I keep in my handbag. I, again, this is a big bag energy edition. So I don't usually carry that much stuff with me, but you know, you have a big bag, use it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in my next video.